Good day, campers. Today we're going to be replacing the shower drain in our fifth wheel RV. There are a number of reasons one might need to replace the shower drain. We are replacing ours because it was installed incorrectly at the factory. As you can see, the rubber washer is on top. It is supposed to be on the bottom. You're supposed to use either silicone or plumber's putty on the top. A few things before we get started. This is a tub shroom. It's a clever little device designed to catch hair before it can go down your drain. They also make a shower shroom and a sink shroom. We use the tub shroom because I like it better than the shower shroom. I've linked to all three of these in the comments. Second, as you can see, <laughs> my wife has cleaned the standing water from the drain but normally after we shower, there's water standing here. That's because this rubber washer is on top and it makes this too thick. And last but not least, while it's possible to do this as a one person job, you'll probably get better results if you have a second person to help out. Let's get started. I'll remove the tub shroom and set it aside to be reinstalled later. The water's already dried, so I don't have to do that. This is the new drain. It comes with the rubber washer, the paper washer, and the mounting nut. The new ones also come with a new nylon gasket and a new nut to mount it to the downpipe. The next step will be from the basement. Here we are in the basement. This is where the drain pipe comes from the shower drain to the pee trap to the gray tank. As you can see, this particular RV has a subfloor. So because I'm gonna have to reach up through that hole to loosen the nut for the drain pipe and the mounting nut for the drain, I'm going to do this in steps. I'm going to remove the P-trap, then reach up through the hole and loosen the nut for the drain. And then hopefully I can get my plumber's tool up inside that hole and loosen the mounting nut. So I was able to get the drain pipe loose. This did take quite a while, probably an hour or so because the factory did get that bottom nut pretty tight. I had to reach up in there with a long screwdriver, pry against the edge of the hole, and turn it a little bit at a time. Short note here, make sure you have a towel underneath this thing, because when you take the P-trap off, it of course is full of water. Next step, is to remove the nut that mounts the drain to the tub, to the shower. So, the mounting nut for the uh, drain was actually a little bit simpler. I was able to reach up in there with my faucet tool, put it on the nut, there was plenty of room in there to rotate. If for some reason you don't have the room, you can use a two inch socket and uh, put a little extension on it and reach up in there and get it loose. Next step is to install the new drain. All right, so now what we're gonna do is reinstall the new drain. We're gonna do this correctly per the instructions. The instructions say to use uh, plumber's putty or silicone I'm going to use a bathroom type silicone sealer. So what we're going to do is put a bead around this lip. Just enough to make sure that when we put it in, it's going to be sealed. And then we're going to go back down to the basement and reinstall all the nuts.
Once it's installed, then we will clean the excess silicone. This is the part where you need the second person. Um, you, I have another person up top who's gonna hold on to the drain so that it doesn't spin and move. I'm going to install the rubber washer, then the paper washer, and then the mounting nut. And then while they're holding it, I can secure it and make it snug. All right, the drain is reinstalled. The mounting nut is installed and tight. Next thing is to put in the actual drain pipe. I'm going to use the new Teflon washer that came with the new drain, but I'm going to reuse the plastic mounting nut because this one has tabs on it so that I can get a hold of it with my fingers and make sure it's really nice and snug. And then we'll put the P-trap back on. I've reinstalled the drain pipe and the P-trap. No reason for any of this stuff to be any more than a very, very snug hand tight, as tight as you can possibly get it with your hands. Next thing I'll do is test for leaks and we will be done. So we've tested it. We don't have any water leaks. As you can see, there's very little water hanging around the edge of the drain. Um, I will, of course, link to the drain tool and the drain itself in the description. So our last little thing to do here is we'll remove the screen and put our tub shroom in and it's time to take a shower. Thanks for watching and as always, please remember to like and subscribe.